right guys, today it is 4th of July weekend. As you can tell by all the boat traffic, today's video hopefully won't give you, you know, motion sickness with all the boat wakes that are about to be thrown on us. But uh, not trying to make, you know, a Blair Witch Project movie, but you know, when you get free time, you gotta get out and fish. And even if it is a holiday weekend that usually is a nightmare to be on the water. Um, but let's get a bait down. Oh, damn. Got this guy on the jig. Look at that, man. Fourth of July tog. Got him. There we go. Todd. Man. Felt like something different. Maybe there was something different with him down there. Fresh fiddler on the hook. Hoping we get what we've been missing. Might have to go a little bit lower. Got him. Got him. Damn. That's a bigger tog. That guy, look at that, man. He inhaled that one. Look at this. This, this dude legit inhaled it. Man, I'll tell you what. I think there are some sheep mixed in. But the odds right now are not in our favor with the sheer number of tog that are around this bridge. Um, I mean, it, as soon as I close this bale, it's like they instantly swim up with it, like that. Like, you, you literally have to close the bale and pretty much set the hook. Man. There's definitely some sheep mixed in, but they are definitely outnumbered by these tog. I'm finding that hooking the fiddlers through the body seems to be the best way to get a hook set right now. When I was hooking them like I normally do through like the legs, they were just picking me apart. But like watch, as soon as I close this bail, it's like they almost are swimming up with it. Yeah, like see? And if I don't try and set the hook, I'm, I'm robbed. Yeah, there we go. Oh, son. Damn, that's a bigger tog. Oh, felt, felt bigger. Man, look at this guy. pitch that right at this bridge man that couldn't have been a foot under look at that Whew. 
we got to be quick de-hooking these guys because with all the boat traffic, I don't want to get thrown into the bridge. Got him. Got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a bigger guy. Look at that. Just trying to get a good position because the boat weeks are gonna bounce me around if I don't position myself correctly. Tell you what man some of these people don't know what a no wake zone is like that holy smoke through this wave coming for us oh no Woo! welcome to jersey man jesus there we go oh gotta get this guy out gotta get this guy out ah so much debris down there Tell you what it's much harder fishing right here because the wind keeps wanting to spin me and there's not much i could really do even pedaling as fast as i possibly can against it hasn't really done the trick so it's like you almost have like a one shot window to catch one fish like right there we're getting hits oh got him oh got him ran right into the cable and see, I gotta try and get this guy back. Hold oh, easy, buddy. Try and get him back so we don't lose our kayak position. Because that's the problem is when we're hooking a fish, I'm not really looking at where we're going. And then it becomes an ordeal trying to get back to where we want to go. They're really not too deep down today. Damn. Damn. small guy So I'm going to give this crank a crab a shot. I've never fished an artificial crab for tog, so I'm curious to see if it will work. I'll uh, spare you me hooking it up. All right, so we ran out of crab, so we're going to try a fake crab before we leave. Could be a bust, could be good. Find out very shortly after we take this wake. fish on this artificial I know they use them down in Florida for sheep's head but if, if they work for tog man that'd be a game changer oh got him got him let's go let's freaking go on the freaking artificial look at that that is awesome Oh, he spit it right. Oh, he spit it right at the boat. Man, we just had our first fish on this artificial, but we lost him right at the side of the boat. I, I wouldn't get counted as caught just because they didn't get him in the boat or the kayak, but where there's one that'll bite, there's got to be more. Oh, look at that. Got him. There we go. Let's go. On the freaking artificial, man. Look at that. That is pretty cool. 
Look at that. On an artificial crab. All right, man, that is freaking so cool. I might stay a little bit longer. This is not a good thing for me because when I run out of bait, it's usually when it's time to go home. But the fact that we're catching fish without bait. All right. Getting it back in there. Look at that. Oh. oh. That must be a small tog. If I can't set the hook on that little guy. Got him. There we go. Yeah, they're smaller tog. But man, I'll tell you what. This might be a game changer for me. I'm gonna have to figure out, we're gonna have to workshop some ideas of how to fish these with a little bit more weight because they are super light. I mean, even that cast right there, you like, you almost gotta like free line it. Oh man, we already had a hit though. All right, man so this thing definitely made the trip um i'm gonna try and fish this a little bit more in the future but i i gotta find a way to weigh it down and get it to where it needs to be